AI is causing panic. Artificial intelligence. AI is the biggest platform shift since mobile, since cloud. Is there a kill switch? The technologies just develop so, so quickly. If you, like me, went down the rabbit hole of searching how AI may influence ourselves, the more you read, the more you realize. You should be happy if AI can replace your job. In fact, that's one of the most beneficial things it could have happened for you for the next couple decades. Imagine you are in ancient Greece. You're the one of the citizens living in Athens. You will see yourself and your friends. All they do every day is watching shows, having fun, talk about philosophy, enjoy the democracy, everything for fun. The reason why you guys be able to do it is because you guys have a lot of servants and farmers. So you don't have to worry about surviving. All you need to worry about is how can we have fun today? But imagine, what if one day AI can actually become the role of the farmer, become the role of those servants, and then you can enjoy life. And that one of the most wonderful things could happen. The people who really support this claim is Linus. He is a computer science legendary master. In the field, his position is even above Stephen Jobs, Elon Musk, or Bill Gates. He's a creator of Linux system. Without Linux system, none of the company you see, for example, Microsoft or Google, could become possible. He speak out the truth why there's so many BS, soul crushing, white color job out there. The sole reason why is limitation of age. This is what he said in his autobiography. There are three things that have meaning for life. There is a motivational factors for everything in your life. The first is survival. The second is social order. The third is entertainment. To explain his idea, he even used sex as example. In the beginning, sex is a tool to survive, to continue the mankind. When our society develops a little bit more, sex becomes a tool to build social structure. It's a bridge to connect two big families or to connect two countries. And there's a lot of law, moral, age requirement surrounded by it. When we develop more and more sex, it just purely become a tool of entertainment. The reason why we have so many soul crushing jobs make us hate our life so much is because we perpetually suck in the second stage. You are one of the gear in the whole big society machines. Regardless you want to or no, all the job require people to do and all of them are really difficult. You need to dig down in one field. Even then, you may don't like them. Economists even call this the division of labors. When AI can replace your job, that's the official sign of your industry is shift from efficient oriented, nine to five KPI and money, officially to the fun-based curiosity, passion, and to do whatever is meaningful to you. Lots of people really jealous of YouTubers because they see lots of them is on the entertainment stage. They just doing whatever they love and earning money from it. However, as me making video right now, even for YouTuber, there's so many BS job you have to do. You need to finish the commercializing part of your career then you can step into the entertainment and do it like a game. Me as example, the idea of the whole video for me, I can summarize in 10 to 30 words for me, in order for me to understand it. But if I want to film a video, I need to write a couple thousand words plot and use a day to film, couple to it to edit it and publish. For me, the fun part is only the 5%, 10% of value generation. It's actually meaningful for me. All the outside, 95% of my time is doing something that I don't love. For me, that's the soul crushing parts. But if one day AI can actually replace all of this and doing all of this for me, I can fully enjoy this YouTuber job. Or use another example, painters. From master to beginning, you need a 20 year of practice. But today there's so many AI painting tools. 
From a beginner to master, you probably just need a couple hours of tinkering with the machines. What it actually matter is the thoughts of yours, aesthetic style, the taste, the touch. You can focus on those most meaningful thing to you. You, if you really enjoy the process of painting by hand, you also can do it if it's fun for you. You no longer have to think about how efficient this is. Even if it's not efficient, that no longer matter for painting. Even then, everybody can enjoy their life. That may seem like a really good thing for everybody, besides one group of people. It's the people who don't really have a hobby, don't have a passion, don't know how to have fun in life. They will have a horrible time in the AI age. Just look at content creation like YouTube, TikTok. What everybody do is just showing the fun part of their life, showing you their hobby and earning money from it. The platform, the opportunity is there. Why can't you catch the opportunities? Just like travel vloggers or even people who uh, shave off the hood of the horses can earn big monies. But I still have to remind you one thing. We still in the efficient age. So if you can embrace all those tools, please go do it. So you can focus on the fun part of your industry. The people who will lose job in the AI age is the people who cannot enjoy your own career. Just like lots of blue color nowadays, they just enjoy their craftsmanship. If I like, I can make the knife from scratch from a piece of metal. As long as it's fun for me, and the people willing to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for handcraft knife. In the end, I want to wrap everything up with one little story. Before Da Vinci passed away, he still write a question on his notebook. I really wonder what the woodpecker's tongue look like. You ask him why you do this. This is like last couple hours. You will never figure this out, or why does it even matter to you? He will simply tell you this. It's because this is really fun. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Paul. I'll see you next time.